Hey guys, Moran Pober here, and today we're going to talk about how to grow a business with no money. Let's get to it. So, hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moran Pober, and I've been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years, seven-figure businesses. I've made money, I lost money, I've been involved in many different sectors, and right now we're looking to buy businesses in pretty much any sector you can think of. I'm here to show you that you can buy an existing business instead of starting one from scratch, and I'm also here to show you that, in my opinion, you'd rather grow your business by acquisition, by buying other companies, versus just growing it organically by doing more sales and marketing. Um, so if you're new to this channel, like, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, and see my other videos in the channel that are gonna open your eyes to what's possible, because 99% of books, videos, courses out there talk about how to grow businesses by doing more sales and marketing, and I'm here to kinda like change your perspectives to what's possible. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing. That's why companies like Facebook is going out there and growing by buying companies like WhatsApp and Instagram. So. Yeah, that's it for the introduction. Let's get to today's topic. How do you grow a business with no money? Is it even, is it even possible? Many people will tell you that it's not possible, that you gotta go out there and raise capital from venture capital. You gotta grow out there and raise capital from your family, from your friends, from angel investors. And to begin with, many people tell you that you can't grow a business unless you have some kind of a huge advertising budget. And you can't even start a business unless you have hundreds of thousands of dollars other people might tell you, hey, you don't need any money at all to start a business or to grow a business or to buy a business. So what is true? Do you need money Do you, or you don't need money at all? Can you grow a business if you have no money at all? Obviously, if you have an existing business, you most likely have some capital in the bank. If you didn't have any cash, you wouldn't have any business because the main reason businesses fail is because lack of cash flow, basically, lack, lack of cash. And... If you don't know the difference, that there's a, and I need to do probably a video on the difference between profits and cash and all that stuff and just talk about financials in general. But overall, what is the answer? What are my thoughts? So in my opinion, can you grow a business with no money? The answer is absolutely yes. And if you start a business from scratch, you need to go out there and basically hustle your way to get it, grow your business. So it's, in the end of the day, it comes down to either time or money. If you don't have any money at all, you need to have a lot of time. If you don't have any time at all, you better have some money to play with because you can then leverage other people and just use that money in a way where you don't need to be required or use your personal time a lot. So what are the options? So if you don't have any money at all, if you try to grow your business organically, your best way to go and do that is to go and find one client at a time and to literally hustle your way one client at a time so you can have cash and that's how people grow their business. And to begin with, if you're just a one-person show, or even if you have a small business and you try to grow it, you can do it organically very well. You can go out there and use social media and just literally hustle your way through, or, or direct message people, or direct email people, or cold call people, or basically do whatever you can that takes your time in order to achieve to find those clients. And then it's obviously about all about your sales skills, your marketing skills, and how you pitch your services in, in the right way to get those clients. So that's the way to do it organically and grow your business that way. The way that I'm talking about more about in this channel is how you can go and buy businesses even if you have no money. And it's definitely doable to buy businesses even if you have no money as well. And it's, in my opinion, the best way to grow your business too because you can go out there and buy. And I'm talking about now the range that we're talking about are usually businesses doing between one to 10 million a year in sales just because bigger businesses have much higher competition because you're competing with private equity firms and basically firms that have access to a lot of I guess pool of capital that they can play with so assuming you're going to buy a three million dollar business right you can go there and you can buy that business without using your personal capital at all and whenever you buy that business you basically grew your business in the amount of revenue that that business has right so let's say you have an existing business doing whatever three hundred thousand in sales you can go and buy a business between two million in sales and you immediately grew your business by two more millions in sales just by buying that business. Now, obviously, easier said than done, but you don't need money to buy that business many times because that business is already established, already existing, and that business got assets on the balance sheet, things like accounts receivables, like inventory, like real estate, like cash in the bank, and you can use those assets as a leverage to buy that business from him. And I'm not even talking about negotiation strategies like deferred payments and seller financing. And it's a very similar process to buying a real estate. It's just that 
businesses have different assets and with businesses it's very common that the seller of the business will finance a large chunk or at least a, a significant chunk of the acquisition as part of the sale process so that's the best way to grow now obviously same goes here and same goes if you try to grow organically your business if you have access to a lot of capital you just have more opportunities that's the only thing that capital really gives you more opportunities to do more things so if you try to grow your business organically you can use that capital to pay more for advertising and the marketing costs and sales people and things like that right and obviously for a development of better product and, and all that the organic things in the business when you go out there and try to buy a business uh, or grow your business by acquisitions again having more capital isn't a must but it means that you'll have more opportunities to buy more businesses just because your negotiation uh, i guess power will be on your end you know that you don't need to just use the business assets as a leverage you can use your personal capital and use that as well as some kind of an a, a, what we call an equity kick or a, a more a better advantage when you're trying to buy those businesses so those are kind of like the ways the way i see it when you're looking to buy to grow businesses without capital you can do it organically by doing more sales and marketing and just if you don't have any money at all you need to really hustle your way or what we call a guerrilla marketing or if you want to grow your business by acquisitions, if you don't have money, you should just need to find enough businesses where the assets on the balance sheet business is enough for you to pay for that business cost, if that makes sense. And in my opinion, you'd rather put, like sometimes it will take you the same amount of time to find a client as it is to find a business to buy. So I'm just saying, instead of growing one client at a time, why won't you grow one business at a time? That's kind of like my perspective about life at this stage at least. So, um, that's it for today guys. I hope it's opened your eyes to what's possible and if you enjoy it Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos Let me know in the comment below What would you do if you had to grow your business when you had access to no capital capital at all? And yeah, if you want to see how you can work with us go to moanpogar.com forward slash quiz Me and my team were involved in more than 300 deals We can help you and show you the process on how to buy your first deal, your first business, or how to grow, how to grow your existing business by acquisitions. And that's how we help people and at the same time have access to more deals that we can potentially do with you in the future because we are looking to invest capital and do deals. So that's it for today. Um, did I miss anything? No, I hope I, I did it. And if I did, I'll, I'll do another video about it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.